We will thrive. Thank you so much. Hi, everyone. I love the music. <laughs> love the energy of this event. It's exciting to be here. Um, yes, I love the word authenticity. When um, For me, authenticity is being able to be who you are with your vulnerabilities, with... Um, you know, transparency for me, it's me, myself, with my background, my journey, my path, my challenges, my accent. <laughs> this is me, you know, and um, I think it's, uh, if I if I share an example with you, um, I always wanted to be in business for myself, but when I came here, I was in a corporate environment, used to be in a business world, had a great career, but then I lost it one day, and what I've realized is universe always gives us what we need and whatever we want that pulls us as well and I actually decided not to pursue um, the corporate world I decided to continue in business for myself in my own business but all of that is driven by that inner energy by who we truly are and who I tr who I you know truly am and um creating this this community that we have here and I think it's important to remember the roots and staying grounded as well there are three things I want to share when it comes to developing your authentic self I think it's important to remember the strengths your strengths and your passions uh, number two I think it's uh, important to let go something that is not belonging to you that is that that's something that is not part of you it's important to let that go and number three I think remembering who you truly are and not only knowing it but living it every single day and remember it every single day yeah you said letting go I've read it a thousand times letting things go how can I do it you know such a great question uh, for me it's um, you know, it's, it's, it's not easy. It's exactly right. Um, you know, for me, it's been the, in my personal experience, it's been the relationship that I've been part of, that I had to let that go. Um, that is something that was not working for me at a time. Um, but, you know, it could be different things. I think the first and foremost, number one step is realizing it. And that's where it starts, mm -hmm. realizing that that is exactly not working right now. Okay, thank you so much for your personal insight. Thanks for sharing the story. Um, why is it important to follow your feelings and um, is there something like a double advantage to you? Yes, um, there is a great book, it's called Design Map by Danielle Laporte and she talks about how when we put our goals and dreams together, we need to connect them to our feelings. And I think mm -hmm. it is so important to recognize that feeling, whatever makes you excited. Um, and you know, David spoke about that door, Sharon spoke about the community and businesses, absolutely amazing speakers today, they spoke about that, right? But I think whatever makes you uh, excited, whatever makes you tick, that whatever generates that feeling, if that, that's the key. And she makes such an amazing point in her book. But at the same time, whatever, Feeling when, when that negative feeling comes up, it's also important to recognize it and, mm -hmm. you know, check it. And uh, for me, it's waking up every single day with a feeling that I am in, so excited to build the community that I'm building, the partnerships that I'm building in both of my businesses and the people that I'm able to empower, the people that I'm, the leaders that I'm able to develop. That is important for me. And that's what's, uh, what's um, you know, driving me. The double advantage that you ask about the first time I've heard about it was um, in the book um, Immigrant Edge and I think it's um, I can talk about it from the perspective of multiculturalism and belonging to two uh, to um, to two cultures too, but it could uh, apply to any areas of your life for me personally it's being able to think for two cultures okay Thank you so much. You said it's so important for you to build up your community. Your community um, is Women of the World Network. Um, maybe you can talk about the history of your, of your foundation or your network. Absolutely. So one of the main reasons for launching Women of the World Network is to 
unite um, ladies and uh, multicultural ladies to promote diversity, to help with business growth and to promote personal growth and to help uh, the growth as well, to, um, to make sure that we keep always growing and becoming better versions of ourselves today than we were yesterday. And um, our community, you know, we, we are a group that is centered about that multiculturalism and that is the one of the main, um, you know, moments and, and experiences that we can provide to our members through that diversity. Our meetings sometimes every chair is occupied by a person from a different country, and it's mm -hmm. just like a rainbow of different uh, countries. And I just love seeing that. That's that's what you know. That what drives us. But um, you know, we also uh, help women nurture that self fulfillment you know, discover and develop their passions, but also lead from the point of authenticity as well. We have 10 chapters right now in California, Texas, and Illinois, and we are growing nationally as well. And if you wanted to check out more, it's womenoftheworldnetwork.com. Yeah. Um, and you help uh, women to look inside and find their self-esteem. Um, I can imagine that there are also some women, yeah, who doesn't really know uh, what, it's, what is inside, you know? How can you help them or how do you help them? Absolutely. So we have several masterminds in place that we do. For members, we have two masterminds every month and that are for members. In addition to that, we invite, you know, amazing speakers and experts on different uh, topics, on different subjects mm -hmm. to uh, continue learning. And it's, it's exactly like you said, to creating, you know, and developing that confidence, that voice and strengthening that voice within. Mm -hmm. Listening to the intuition. Uh, mm -hmm. Why is the community so important, especially right now in this worry situation? Yes, um, absolutely. You know, I think as humans, we thrive on community and uh, we need the energy interaction. We need uh, community to grow. You know, there are so many big companies, great companies that created cultures around communities and we might not remember their names or literature, but we, you know, people remember that community. But at the same time, it's important to be part of the community to help us grow to help each one of us grow and that's what Peter and Kata created here it's absolutely amazing with this uh, we will thrive uh, marathon we don't uh, see borders uh, we don't uh, see any limits we all together in this you know and it's going to empower influence elevate so many people and I'm just so excited to be part of this yeah as a journalist I have to ask a critical question because at the beginning um, you said that um, yeah more or less everything falls into place and has his uh, time has its time so um, what do you think about corona right now or, or how can you put the positive things out of it mm. uh, it's a great question um, oh, I think, question yeah yeah for me I think for me it's um, Uh, it's been, I, I don't like what's happening, uh, you know, with, with, of course, people uh, getting sick. Um, I don't like seeing that. But what, what I, um, I think it's such an interesting time that we live in right now because a lot of people actually come together. It's yeah. so, so, it's so interesting it's to see. <laughs> Yeah, it's a beautiful thing to see and watch. All of us come together, but I've been personally using this opportunity to take, you know, re-strategize, rethink some things. So it's... Um, Yeah, it's, uh, it's interesting to watch. And yeah. the world is, is different. It's all yeah. different. Yeah, I think it's a huge chance also to, to build mm -hmm. up and raise, and this is exactly what you do to uh, motivate um, these women. Um, you also talked about the energy. Do you feel there's a difference between the energy when you, when you are together as a group or uh, with your, yeah, whatever, with, with um, calls like on a, on a computer with your women? Um, yes, yes, I think um, uh, there, is a, there is a strength in that, for sure, mm -hmm. uh, when we come together, um, yeah, and I think especially for women, sometimes it's harder to express that inner voice mm -hmm. or to let that inner voice come out, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, it's definitely uh, that um, the platform that helps them do that. Um, yeah, and uh, provide that, uh, you know, con develop that confidence and strength and voice and uh, togetherness, create togetherness. Yeah, and you built this platform, Women of the World Network. Thanks so much, El Bayar. Thank you so much. 